right here in Southwest Florida tell Fox 4 tonight they expect law lawmakers will try to ban assault weapons like the one used in the Parkland shooting last week. For New Corner, Sam Sosa finding out the gun sellers aren't the only ones bracing for possibly big changes down the road here, Sam. That's right, guys. This business owner actually thinks change is likely. And because of that, some people are going to his store to buy weapons they believe they might not be able to get their hands on soon. High schoolers demanding change. We have to stand up and take charge because nobody else will. Because our elected officials certainly will. As they mourn the loss of their fellow students in Parkland. We can prevent some seriously nasty crimes and some seriously indescribable tragedies from occurring. And if somebody doesn't want to do that at this point, that's that's pathetic. And lawmakers are feeling the heat. Even President Trump considered some gun control measures today, telling media he supports efforts to improve background checks for gun purchases. <laughs> This has some gun owners heading to stores like Shoot Center in Cape Coral. We've definitely seen an increase in sales since that horrible event that happened. Owner Aaron Forum says since last week, they've seen an almost 30% increase in sales of the AR-15, the very weapon used by the Parkland shooter. He tells me part of it is people becoming more aware of dangers lurking in our communities. But on the other hand... Enough of our customers understand that if enough lawmakers get together, we're going to see another assault weapons ban like we did in 1994, which of course was a 10 year ban. That ban expired in 2004. In Forum's opinion, it didn't work. The statistics show that it was relatively ineffective and truthfully, those types of firearms are not used prevalently in crime anyhow. It's mostly handguns. However, the AR-15 was used in several mass shootings in recent history, including the Sandy Hook shooting, the Pulse shooting in Orlando, and the shooting at a Las Vegas concert a few months ago. With this fresh in the mind of lawmakers, Forum says a new ban is inevitable. It may not happen in the next year or even two years, but it's most likely going to happen again. Guns banned in 1994 included the AR-15 and AK-47. I'm live in the studio, Sam Sosa, Fox 4, in your corner. Sam.